Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time we got Setzer back in the party and we went to the Coliseum and fought some battles and got some new items that technically you can't really get yet in the game but I guess it's the only way you can get some of them. Anyways, off screen I actually went back and fought at the Coliseum a little bit and I got a couple other relics, damn it, wrong button, that I wanted to show you real quick. Experience Egg. Now what Experience Egg does, I actually got two of them, is it doubles the obtained experience. So after a battle you get double the experience. So you level up faster basically. How did I get it? Well, uh, I when you go to bet the item, I bet Tintinabar, which is that one relic that if you walk around your HP heals up. And all you have to do in those battles is fight that Dark Force enemy, which I already fought. So I figured I'll just do it off screen since it was an enemy I already had fought before. I was like, there's no reason in showing me fight this guy two more times. I'll just say I did it off screen. Because I did do it off screen. So, yeah. Tin Tin Bar. It's the item that if you walk around, um, you get, you know, your experience goes up. Basically, that's what it is. And all I did was bet that, and then I bet it again, and I beat the guy twice. It was easy enough. And that's all I did off screen. I didn't do anything else. Except for, oh no, I take that back. I sold some stuff at the shop. Bought some items. No no new equipment or anything, just items. Alright. We're over here at the other white dot on the map, which is known as... Daryl. Oh, wait, never mind. Hold on, let's wait till we get inside before we do it. This person, she was your friend? Yeah, she was a piece of work. Nothing scared her. Anyway, you couldn't have come in here without Setzer. It would just be a blank area. Could be anything lurking down here. So keep your eyes peeled, mm good. -hmm. Okay. Anyways, we are at... Daryl's Tomb. And if you didn't see, it was spelled hella weird. It was spelled D-A-R-I-L-L. -L. And Setzer actually, when he said it, it was D-A-R-Y-E-L. Or R-Y-L. -R yeah. Just, just so you know the discrepancies in the awesome typos that are in this game. Anyways, obviously we're going to fight some new enemies up in this bitch. And I don't know. Can I kill things like that? Nope. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch Setzer's weapon. I wasn't sure if the, ep the enemies here are like undead or zombified or whatever. Because Setzer's still using the Trump weapon that I just got um, and in Kolingen. And I was using it in the arena to my advantage. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to use that here. What I should be using is the is the um, accessory so I don't get zombified, huh? I guess, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, until he starts attacking himself. Wait, I didn't know you attack yourself if you're zombified. Really? God damn it, I need to switch weapons. This is not working. <laughs> this party is not working for me without... Okay, there you go. There you go, zombie di zombie saving. All right, let's switch up my equipment a little bit because um, it's not working for me. At least not with Setzer having that weapon. It's just a waste of an attack. Uh, let's go ahead and just put the regular darts on him. That's pretty much as strong as he can get. Um, I have a lot of revivifies, so I might not worry about getting zombified a lot. In fact, I'm not going to worry about it at all, in fact. I'm just going to let it go. Just going to let it go. If it happens, it happens. I don't think it'll happen enough to bother me. If it starts happening way too much, I'll put the accessory on to block it. Anyways, we want to go in here first, grab the Genji helmet, which we will immediately equip to Edgar because it's awesome. No, I have a bad habit of using Optimize, if you never noticed. Um, and I think we'll give the other helmet, the crystal one, to, to, to her, and then we'll move on. Wait, yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here, so let's go ahead and head back out. And we'll check in this door. I remember this place being a lot bigger, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, look. All I did was talk to the tombstone and the door opened. How convenient. Hmm, not much going on here. What's this? Switch? Ooh, the water rises. What did that accomplish? Well, you guess you'll have to find out when we when I show you. Anyways, we fought this guy in the arena, if you remember. Oh, what am I doing? I should have just attacked regular. I did R bolt. It's not a big deal, but... I could have done way more damage with dual fire claw. I don't know why in the hell I did Aura Bolt. Bad habit. Chainsaw's awesome though, so it doesn't even matter. It's much easier to fight an evil Oscar 
when you have your full party. Or was that Mad Oscar? I don't know. Those Marlboro assholes. I don't know why they're called Oscar. Marlboro is what they're supposed to be called, game. So many weird translations and typos, it's not even funny. I guess it's kind of funny. Alright, so this is a power demon. It's because I'm a freaking demon. I'm a freaking demon. No, not slot. Slots is garbage. Yeah, the enemies here aren't gonna pose too much a threat of too much of a threat to me. Um, maybe the boss. I don't know. I, I can't recall if the boss is that difficult. The tombstone is blank. Carve something? No. We're gonna deal with that in just a moment. I'm gonna show you what you're supposed to carve into that in a minute. What's down here? Treasure? Crystal mail. Ooh, ooh. We're equipping that on. I don't know. Edgar's already pretty pretty well off. He's got the diamond vest. Let's give let's give the crystal armor to Salus. And then we'll we'll slide the diamond armor over to over to Setzer. Uh, the diamond armor. Oh, did I have that last episode? I think I bought the diamond off armor off screen. I just I sold some accessories and got some more money. And with that money, I went ahead and bought at least one piece of armor. I didn't remember buying much. All right, so in here there's a turtle. Hmm, what are you doing in here, turtle? As you can see, we're kind of on a lower level, and there's an upper level. Well, if we press this button. It opens the door. Well, that doesn't seem like it does a whole lot. But if you want to proceed through this place, you gotta open all the doors. Duh. For some reason, I felt like this place was so much bigger when I did it last time. I don't know. It's It's been so long. Alright, Edgar got zombified in that battle, so I had to heal that up real quick. Plus, uh, Celis, um, mastered all the magic she was learning on that Esper, so I had to switch that up as well. Anyways, as you can see... That water level that I just passed right there, crossing that turtle, would have been lowered had I not pressed the first button earlier that raised the water level. Now this button obviously just raises this water level. And do we want to go across this turtle yet? Hold on, what's in here? Ah, this is what I wanted to see. Alright, the letters have been carved here. Irao. What the hell does that mean? What does this one say? Is Quissy. Okay, so what do these other ones say? This one says... Wet. Spelled kind of weird. And this one says... Dulero. Alright, well... If you didn't... Couldn't tell or didn't know... All these little clues are actually backwards. And if you put them all together in a string... They actually spell out a phrase. And I'll go ahead and tell you that phrase in just a moment. I don't know if it's going to say it. But when you come over here to this tombstone over here... That asked me if I wanted to carve something in... Say yes. Now, you come up with these four pieces of... Of whatever now oh man do you put them in the wrong order or do you put them in the backwards order hmm I think you put them in the correct order from beginning to end but because they're backwards so T H E is the right then W O R L D world I S is S Q the world is square but it's backwards if you look at that it's backwards the world is square and Find the experience egg hidden in the back room in the third basement. Alright. Will do. Yeah, it's kind of a... It's it's just like a little interesting little puzzle. You could figure out how to get an, another experience egg. Which will give me a total of three of them. Because I already got two of them from the Coliseum earlier. But you don't actually have to do that little puzzle to even get the item. But if you don't know about it, clearly you're going to need to know the puzzle to know about it. Um... Otherwise, yeah, just cross the, the second turtle and we can continue further into the tomb. Now, is the third thing this room? No, wait. Oh, my bad. Um, let me go back. My fault. The third basement is actually that other room on the other side. That was my fault. I, The room that it's actually in, the third basement floor, is actually in the other room where I got that uh, Zarina gown down here, down downstairs, if I'm not mistaken. It's actually in this room right here. I think it's over here. Yep, here we go. Alright, so do I talk to the wall? Do I go through the wall? There we go. I knew it wasn't that hard. Experience egg, cool. So now we have three of them. I probably won't be using them that much. In fact, I probably won't be using the experience egg a whole lot ever, for that matter. I just It's just nice to get every possible treasure in the game that I can. You might be wondering why I even bothered to get uh, traded my Tintinna bars to go ahead and get two more experience eggs. Instead of having a Tintinna bar to use. It's because Tintinna bars are pretty fuck, pretty fucking useless. You can heal way faster than having to walk around and let every step heal 1 HP. That takes way too long and is not worth it. It's really not. 
Anyway, so let's get you onto the tomb after I fucked up a little bit earlier. There is a save point here. Let's go ahead and use it. Bust out our tent so we can heal up. And as you can imagine, that's going to mean something. But at any rate, let's go ahead and grab the left one first, shall we? Oh no, it's a monster in a box. Whatever will I do? Oh no, and it looks like we're fighting the douchebag we fought at the beginning of the game. Okay, there's a thing about this battle that I want to point out real quick. Um, there's actually something I want to try. I've never tried this before, but I want to see if it'll work. You can actually get two dragon claws from this battle. Now, how do you do that? Well, the shell and the face are two different entities in this battle. If you kill them at the exact same time, then you can get yourself um, two dragon claws, basically. But you have to kill both. Crap, I just got petrified. I need to make sure I don't get petrified to, um, like to death. Oh, what the hell kills for Cures Petrify? Um, soft. Uh, but the point is, so what I'm going to try to do is, since this enemy is actually weak, is susceptible to instant death attacks, I'm going to try to use Doom on it. Can I use Doom on all? Okay, no, I can't use Doom on all. Can we use X-Zone? Okay, yeah, let's try X-Zone. Maybe that'll work. I'm trying to think of something that might work on it. Did it work? Yeah! If we get two Dragon Claws, I'm going to be psyched. Yes! Pulled it off. Fantastic. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to pull that off on screen. Perfect. Two Dragon Claws, which we will henceforth be equipping to save in. Hell yeah. Oh my god, that was that was perfect. I would That could not have gone any better, to be quite honest. That was perfect. Oh wait, let's grab this treasure. I was, say, I was about to say something else. Okay, we got a Maneater, which is just another knife. And let's see. I'm going to do a couple things here real quick before we go off into the boss fight. Yes, the next room is going to contain a boss fight. I'm going to take off this experience egg I got on him. And I'm going to put on, where the hell is it? The Coin Toss Relic. If you remember, the Coin Toss Relic changes Setzer's uh, slots ability to GP Rain, which is another ability that I will be using in this battle. And other than that, I don't think... Is there anything else I need to do? Oh, never mind. I need to switch these back to the Fire Claws for, just for this battle. In this dungeon, the Dragon Claws would have been awesome. But for this battle in particular, we're going to use the... We're going to want to use the Fire Knuckles. We'll switch to the Dragon Claws for the most part for the rest of the, of the game. Uh, we have to examine this, but actually, before I do that, let's use up some potions. Just to be fully healed. I don't know if this battle, remember this battle being particularly that difficult, but let's find out. Daryl sleeps here. Does she? Yes, to she. And did you notice that it was spelled differently again? Weird, right? Anyway, we're fighting Dolahan, who pretty much looks like fucking the chariot that goes to hell. Anyway, he starts off with some uh, crazy pearl attack. Sh let's show you how GP rain is going to work. For Edgar, we're going to use jump. The reason why we've even had this set up. We're going to attack with Sabin, and Celis is going to go ahead and use Runic, which I already failed. You're supposed to be ready to have Runic for when he does Blizzarga, or whatever the hell he just did to Setzer and almost killed him. We're going to kill this guy pretty fast because I'm so strong. So I'm not particularly worried that I'm going to lose or anything like that. But yeah, see, he can't even cure himself if I have Runic. So that was perfect. This battle should be over in no time flat. I'm going to probably... Yeah, let's heal up Setzer just, so, just in case. But all his little ice abilities and all that, completely pointless. All of them will be nullified for the rest of the battle. He might as well just stick to physical attacks because you're screwed, Dullahan. You are screwed. You ain't going to last through the night, baby. You ain't going to last through the night. Especially if Edgar's going to keep jumping on your ass. Look, I already got him. Tis nothing. Anyway, that battle can be difficult if you're not prepped. Clearly, I was prepped. Dolahan ain't shit. Get out of here. Get out of here, bruh. And it sucks because you can steal from him. But, obviously, I don't have the characters able to steal. And it's not even possible to have Locke back in the party at this point. So, I don't know. It just seems pointless. Not that he has anything that great. But it would have been nice to be able to steal at least the X potion from him. Okay, so we came to the tomb for a reason, but what reason was that? Let's find out, shall we? This brings back a lot of memories. Who's this beezy? This experimental airship is probably a bit unstable. 
You can't be serious. What are you trying to prove? I like how the scenes are like put into that black black area on the screen. That's actually kind of a cool visual setup. Watch your step. Yeah, okay, I'm watching my step. Huh, what's this one gonna say? If something should happen to me, the Falcon's yours. Nonsense. I'll win the Falcon from you when I whip you in a race. You better clear out my way. Big talk, Buster. Uh-huh. So we're getting a little bit more backstory on Setzer. This is probably one of the cooler just scenes in the game just because you don't really know much about Setzer at this point. A few, a few things that he's mentioned, but he hasn't had a lot, a lot of character development, so this is cool to see some of his character development. And apparently, this is the first person view of their race around the world, maybe? I, I'm as, I, that's all I can assume, really. And Setzer is just having a jolly old time. There's nothing like flying. Mm-hmm. Come on. Stop lagging back there. I can't do a girl country voice. It doesn't work for me. Or do you like chewing on my wake? Chewing on my wake? Really? This is not surfing, lady. You're flying in the air. How much wake could there possibly be in the air? Then again, wake is just kind of a... I don't know how... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Just stop. Just stop. I'm trying to think about physics and science and just nah. Listen to you. This job's real. I'm gonna break every record. I'll be known as the woman who flew closest to the stars. Be back before sunset. I'll be waiting for you on our hill. You know, make out hill. My favorite hill of all the hills. Ah, but he's left all alone. No Daryl. So sad. So sad. It is so sad, though. That's fucked up, man. Where's your girl at, man? The wreck of the Falcon was found a full year later in a distant land. That sucks. And she was never seen again. I restored the craft and then put it to rest down here. So this is back in present time. This is the Falcon? Yes, it is. Indeed. I put it in storage. I couldn't bear to look at it, but now it just may save us. The Falcon. Aw oh, yeah. Listen to that bust out music. Flying music for the win. Uh, 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 uh. And here you go guys. Our new airship. Hell yeah. And it looks way more badass than Cesar's blimp looking piece of shit from earlier in the game. I finally think we're all going to pull this off. Ho ho ho. We can attack Kafka's tower from the air! The Falcon's going to give us one last chance at that guy. Indeed it is. But first we need to find our friends. Not really. Right. First things first. For once, I feel hopeful! And Sabin can't say shit because he's already one of those friends we found. Hey, a bird! And this will be our first clue as to what we're going to do next time. There's a pigeon. It's flying. Hmm, and it fly. If you notice, it was flying toward a town. But what town was that? Setzer, follow that bird! But why? I don't know. It's just something inside tells me it's important. Okay, fine. We'll follow a bird because Celis said so. And I'm not controlling this. Uh, this is all part of the scene. And I think it's going to stop us right here on the map. Yep, we can control now. This is me now controlling. And we are near a town on the map. But what town is this? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I'll see you guys then. Peace. Here's one that's been a long time coming. What's your favorite character in this game?